when children are doing any near activity for longer time they cause their eye muscles like just we have muscles that move the body we have eye muscles that move the eyes inwards and they get overworked and that causes strain in the eyes and that is a terminology of accommodative spasm exactly spasm of the muscles which cause problem in the eyes hi i'm dr jyoti matalia and today i'm going to talk to you about accommodative spasm accommodative spasm do you think this is some new technology or new word no it has been there since long but now it is showing much more commonly in children and young adults so when would you see it in children who are constantly glued to gadgets or constantly on screen time or in other children who are in this competitive exam between 10 years that is in grade 12 to puc who are giving competitive exam they are constantly studying those people are the ones which land up with accommodative spasm so what exactly happens when children are doing any near activity for longer time they cause their eye muscles like just we have muscles that move the body we have eye muscles that move the eyes inwards and they get overworked and that causes strain in the eyes and that is a terminology of accommodative spasm exactly spasm of the muscles which cause problem in the eyes and what happens then they land up with frequent headaches there is eye strain there is fatigue and sometimes even double vision and they are not able to concentrate then teachers and parents think there is some problem they are not interested but that is not true their eye muscles have got affected and what we need to do is do a good examination unlike the normal routine eye examination they will never pick up this problem in fact if you go to a normal clinic they will say my child is reading 6 by 6 what is the problem no it is the ability of both the eyes to be used together which we call as binocular vision which is got affected and in that when it gets overwork we call it as accommodative spasm so what do you do in that first get a perfect detailed examination which we call as an orthoptic evaluation at a proper center where they do all this evaluation and pick it up once you know it then you have to treat it accordingly first it may require change of glasses special exercises related to the spasm and sometimes eye drops which have to be given on a longer duration and if this spasm continues the eyes may eventually turn inwards you may land up with an inward squint and eventually need surgery so what is more important to prevent this and how do we prevent it as simple follow these five things first importantly when you do reading work it should be 14 inches from the eye very important secondly follow the 20 20 20 rule every 20 minutes of reading or any near activity look at 20 feet away by opening a window as far as possible for 20 seconds this intermittently viewing far breaks the pressure on our eye muscles relaxes them and prevents the eye from eye muscles from going into spasm thirdly screen time should be reduced to less than 1 hour in the whole day which means only 15 20 minutes of ipad laptop mobile all put together tv only 45 minutes not more than that that way we are not glued to these gadgets and we don't get addicted to them either fourthly ensure good blinking blink more often so that when you're on screen that gives rest to your eyes also take breaks from your studies by going and looking outside the window not looking into another mobile or taking any other gadget fifthly healthy diet and good sleep all this will prevent the eye muscles from going into spasm and thereby prevent complications so the simple is live healthy follow these instructions so that you can prevent your eye muscles from going into spasm and the problems that come thereafter so that your child can have a good ensured future thank you